Prophets were special messengers God used in the Bible to share His Word. They usually had wonderful messages to tell, but sometimes they were filled with warnings or even filled with grief. Yes, for example, in Amos 8.11 it says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Although prophets are so important, we tend to forget about the lesser ones, like Obadiah. Obadiah's vision, or message, was for the people of Jerusalem, most likely dating to the time of the Babylonian exile of Israel. Yes, the Israelites had lost everything. Their homes burned to the ground, their freedom taken away, and their cities destroyed. While this was all going on, their neighboring country, Edom, watched and laughed at the Israelites. They plundered and killed survivors instead of helping Israel in their calamities and hardships. But despite all of this, God was still with his people, the Israelites. And then he turns, he turns to the Edomites and rebukes them, saying, their own allies will betray them, their cities will be destroyed, and that disasters await them. All of this has symbolism and meaning. For example, all of God's people will return and rule again, and all of sin will be destroyed. Yeah, and just as Edom's pride deceived them, so shall it be with Lucifer, and how his own pride will destroy him in the end. Just as it says, those who eat your bread and sit at your table will lay a trap to you. So it was with Jesus and how one of his own friends and disciples named Judas would betray him. But, why is this important to us now? It's important because it tells us that God has already won the battle, that all we need to do is return to him. We just have to accept him and decide to come to God instead of staying put. Exactly. We still have to fight our own battles, but God has won the biggest battle, and someday, He will come to our rescue and let us live in peace forever.